The threat of flooding has homeowners looking at their basement walls for signs of water. Reporter Kevin Landers is live in Southwest Columbus to explain what we can do now to make sure our basements stay dry. Kevin? Yeah, good evening. Yeah, this heavy rain has left our lawns flooded, and a lot of this water has to go somewhere, most likely in our basements. But we spoke to an expert who said even if you see cracks in your basement wall, you don't have to panic yet. This is what can happen when a basement is left to leak for a long time, says Sid Huck of J&J &J Foundation Repair. If you've got water coming in, you've got a problem. Basements like this one without a sump pump, he says, are more than likely to see orange staining near the floor line, which he says shows water has been here before. Until you have water running across the floor, you do not have a problem. And do not let anyone tell you they do or throw them out of your house because they're lying to you. He says cracks on the wall or even signs of staining doesn't mean there's an immediate problem unless water is coming through and oftentimes it's a quick fix. 30% of the time we still up to somebody's house, they're freaked out about some small crack that actually isn't a problem. He says the rain combined with snow melt is going to cause a lot of basements to leak because the water isn't properly draining away from the home. Leave only about six inches of your concrete block exposed on the outside. Try to grade the soil up to your house and take it out about four to six feet away. He says if you have a finished basement, do this now if you're worried about water coming in. Walk around in your sock feet in your basement along the edges if you have a finished basement. Walk along the edges and see if you can get any moisture on your socks. Yeah. Then you'll know. Now, Hawk says because the ground underneath is still frozen, some of that water isn't able to move through those pipes. So that's another thing homeowners are going to keep an eye on. Reporting live in Southwest Columbus, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.